Hey everyone. So today we are going to try to beat the rain and get uh, a, a lift reading on this Kubota. Now, uh, this is rigged up very similar to the John Deere, but it's not intended. If you've seen my other videos that have the one series and two series hooked up like this, it is not intended to be a like for like comparison. It's really comparing itself to itself. But uh, right now we've got the stock uh, cylinders on. These are 1.5 inch bore. So I cracked them apart. You can see, knocked all the paint off of it and uh, made sure the bore was accurate. Uh, the, cell, the, the rod is somewhere in the neighborhood of, of one inch. It's a, just a little bit less. So we got everything zeroed out. The tractor is warm um, and we are gonna give it a shot. And I forgot what the, I guess I should do a pressure test at some point. All right. And well, I said the tractor's warm. It was up to about right here a little bit ago, but then I took a call, so. We'll see. That's good. I'm going to do it at a lower RPM. We'll just say 2,000 RPM. And we'll do a pull here. So I'm sitting on it. I've not done this with this tractor. So I got whoa, one back wheel off the ground. So we'll see. Let's see what we end up with here. Ah, oh, what's that say? 444. That seems low, but it's getting a little power. So we got the back wheel much further off the ground. So that suggests that it does have some additional pull at higher RPMs. What do we got? 592. That does not seem right. Huh. I don't have any ballast for this thing. Let me try to create some ballast. Hmm. Let me see what I can find here. Don't have any implements, but it should do it. Yeah, we'll see. All right. A little heat now, I guess. But let's just go all the way up. Tail in, held down. What do we got? 6.56. Oh, you know what? You know what? Uh, hang on, hang on. This button, peak. Thought I had the peak on. Here we go. I have to get on it now. That's why it was so low. Was crazy low. Okay, 7.30. Okay, just to make sure, because I didn't do it right. So I might have used the curl just a bit. Let me see. Uh, how do you make it not peak? Okay. All right, peak. No, what does that mean? We'll start over. All right, peak. Yeah, okay. One more time. Now I've got everything set up.
7.06. All right. Well, let's get these prototype cylinders on. Let's see what we can do. Almost forgot. Lift height 65 and a quarter based on where I'm measuring it. That's all the way up bucket level. We'll see what we get with the prototypes. And this may very well be the reason to get the Hydro's plus cylinders. They're plus in lift capacity, but they're going to be plus in lift height in the case of the Kubota. So we're looking at 75 and a half versus, what was it, 65 and a quarter? And I mean, I'm reaching up here. So if you can see that, it's quite a bit higher. And because of the way Kubota does their loaders and they have more reach, you still got plenty of room. I'm not going to measure it here, but the, you probably got as much, if not more room than you have with a John Deere, uh, just based on the loader geometry. And so how do we do this? Well, right here. See this extra stick out? We can take advantage of that by making the cylinder uh, longer, essentially. And by taking that in, you can uh, essentially end up with the same retracted length, but more uh, extension length. And that's where we get, oh, what is that, 11 inches? That's quite a bit. All right, let's see if we can beat the rain and see how much lift capacity we end up with on these prototypes. All right, we have prototypes on, as you can see, 1.75 inch bore. We've got our peak set and zeroed out in the same spot. I literally did not move the tractor so that I could easily control for those variables. Let's start her up. So, what's that? A little over 200 pounds. I don't remember the other numbers. I'll put it on the screen. But, pretty good gain. 200 pounds over, what, 700? I mean, it should be, by the math, somewhere between 30 and 35 percent. We'll see what the numbers actually bear out to be. So, um, and I will, let me finish up with a pressure test. Ugh. One of the things, for better or for worse, on the Kubota, this is a good setup, don't get me wrong, but you can't just pull one of these off. Uh, so you basically have to take the loader off in order to get to those, which is never a problem for anybody except the person who wants to run a pressure test. And I've done a pressure test on this tractor, but I don't remember the numbers. So let me do that, and we'll go from there. It was easy enough, just had to getting back up just had to curl back and I've got one hand here can't find my tripod because my kids used it as a Gatling gun all right this up here I know that's not where it goes but that's where I'm gonna put it now we have a this is actually a come on flat face 1620 connector so it's a female connector there in a 3/8 size so if you're wondering what uh, connector that is, that's what it is. So I can put it up here. Come on. Right. Okay. about 1600 ish that seems low I don't really know uh, I know it's like 16 to maybe 1800 
is what they say. Uh, so it's probably in spec. I haven't changed it. Um, didn't want to do any shimming yet, but eventually we will. It is definitely slower, but it's bearable, I would say. Um, let me show you that and then, then I'll get out of here. All right, loader's back on. We're gonna start at 2,500 RPMs. That's 2,500 RPMs. Quad open. I think that's okay. Let me show you something else. Uh, let me get a little more of that. One of the things, and I think this is due to the serial. So you can see I'm doing two functions at once here. Two functions at once. But when you start, now listen to the engine. When it start going down, now start doing two functions at once. Maybe it's only when it falls back. It sounds to me like it goes over the pressure relief valve. It doesn't on the way up, no problem. You hear that? Bogged down just a little bit. Not a problem, I don't think. Uh, just noticeable. I'm trying to figure out all the different nuances of having a serial or valve in series versus a parallel valve. I think that's one of them. I think on the way down, uh, when you're curling at all, I think it actually is going to send some fluid over the pressure relief valve. Um, and again, not a problem and you don't need power going down, and it's only when you're doing two functions at once. So, eh, you know, just, just a nuance I'm noticing. But um, for those of you interested, this would be any of the three LA3X loaders, uh, 340 or 344, and I do need to check and see if there are others. But um, the most exciting part really being the extra lift height, I think for most people, um, but lift capacity, is going to be a big deal as well. Questions, comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching.